Hello everybody and welcome back to the 777-300ER. Today we're flying Air New Zealand uh, from Los Angeles over to Auckland. The flight time is about 12 hours, so um, let's go and get started, shall we? So, battery on, C1 pumps and demand pumps are off, wipers are off, any gear down, alternate flaps off. Those tight switches, auto, external power, to on. Alright. EDRU, selector to on, voice recorder switch to on. Do the technical log check, so we're only going to do load the fuel at this point. Which is 98% <laughs> of what we can load. That is ridiculous and it's crazy to think about um yeah we're pretty much loaded with maximum fuel um yeah next is gonna the the rest is gonna be done by gsx hopefully if it works engine oil quantity 26 is checked Valid quantities are checked and crew pressurization uh, oxygen pressure is 1860, that's check TCAS, is UNG thing, so it's fine. Parking brake, set, pressure is sufficient, at least a thousand PSI. First officer would check the broadband switch, which would be here, but it's uh, not, it's not on this aircraft. Arm the emergency exit lights. And then we're going to go with the EFP. Performance tool, import. Taking 2.5 right. Dry is indeed correct. Optimum, optimum, off, auto. Now we're going to go with 30 as our standard and our maximum weight. Maximum takeoff weight 351. Now this is going to be very interesting because we are very close to our maximum takeoff weight. I'm really curious if we can do it. And indeed we can. With takeoff, no zoom temperature, and flaps 15, we are able to depart from LAX in today's conditions. Flaps 30, import, right thing, runway 05 right. It is dry at the moment, but it could be wet. Import weather, calculate. And we're gonna arrive there at about 2300 local time. So it's gonna be night time. All right, we would do a flight in it, which is not simulated. It would be in the comm and company. Made us request, PMDG, auto in case something changes. And the first officer will establish ground communication. Verify that works. Okay, so let's check information uniform. Purpose wind 24012. RFG temperature 212.16, altimeter 290. That's checked. So, aircraft documents checked. So, we're doing the uh, crew change for first slide of the day stuff. Flight documents are all checked. So the PA system tests, not simulated. The flight deck access system switch or test. For some reason, this is a different door than what the default 777 would have in a real plane. Same thing with the oxygen mask, they're also very different from the standards, standard ones that are used in the 777, so I would be interested to know what uh, 777 they had as a reference. And all the emergency equipment is there. First officer would also check the after overhead scan, or uh, after overhead. Circuit breakers are pushed in, all guards are closed, no lights at all. Voice recorder test, I don't think it is simulated, no, nope, nothing's working there. And then cargo temperature selectors as required. Nav light selected on, logo light as required. And then the first officer, I, and the whole crew would do a briefing where we get boarded going, boarding going, and then first officer will do the walk around. He'll check the upper crew rest compartment for all the emergency equipment there. And which I'd be curious if uh, PMG modeled them. I'm not sure. We can check in a moment. 
and then he'd do the walk around. And we would do the FMC. We'll do that here in a moment. Well, it doesn't look like there's a crew rest after all. So I guess we're forced to stay up for 12 hours. Darn it. All right, so we're ready for boarding. We can go ahead and start boarding, and then we're gonna do the FMC stuff. Our flight plan says 5757, five, that's about right. 32 tons, our flight plan calculates 31.1s, which should be good. It's a lot of fuel that we're landing with, Hello. but we're still within our maximum landing weight, so it should be fine. Scan complete, first officer's flow. Hello. Hello. ICAS is checked. Cycle through all the systems. Okay, I would not expect these X's to appear unless I turned them on and triggered some kind of issue. But I would not expect that. I know there's no bleed available. But again, they're off, so I would not expect that. May I see your boarding pass, please? Hello? Fuel, balanced, good to go, air. Currently hot in the cabin, but now with the air conditioning card connected, which should have been done <laughs> a while ago. Um, it should be good now. Hello. Good afternoon. Air pressure and temperatures are checked. 
Light controls. Normal for now. Checked. This way, please. Hello. This way, please. Boarding pass, please. Welcome on board. This way, please. This way. Okay, that's checked. Hello. Five, the rest is checked and set. Captain's flow. Welcome on board. May I see your boarding pass, please? So in case we need to return to two five left. Hello. This way please. Oh, sorry, yeah, two five left. The minimums is three oh four. Okay. Right, 251. For runway track. An initial climb is expected to be 230. So a token of these fees, TCAS off is checked. Everything else was checked and set. And that's all set and checked. All right, pre-flight checklist. Oxygen tested 100%. Flight instruments, track 071, 071. Altimeters, 29900. 100 feet, checked within 35 feet and within 75 feet of field elevation. Pre-flight checklist is completed. Hello. Welcome on board. We'll wait until boarding is completed. Alright, so loading completed. Unfortunately, I GSX uh, quit. So, uh, we'll need to do everything by, with uh, Pushback Express now. So we can't use GSX, but that's okay. I'm okay with using G uh, with uh, Pushback Express. Pretty good. We'll fuel on board, 142 Niner. My plan requested 142 Niner, that's perfect. And we got our final load sheet. 5.2. Our reserves, 25.6. We're gonna go thrust limit, we're gonna calculate. 37, flaps five. G, 1500, 1500, 1500. E1, 175, 189 is checked within one knot. Okay. And 192. In this case, 193. Sorry, I don't know why I said 192. All now, VNAV can be armed. 23,000 is confirmed. Transponders confirmed. SID is confirmed. Some last minute checks, progress, top of cruise is checked, fuel, distance, everything is checked, VNAV is good. We have a speed restriction of 262 at 10,000, so we're definitely very heavy. And we would uh, talk to ATC to see if we can do this. If we're allowed to, but I think we are. We're not on ATC, so that's fine. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the departure briefing. All right, so all doors are closed and armed. The air conditioning cart is disconnected. We'll start at the APU. Circulation fans and pads can now come to auto. All right, if you start it, external power can be can go off and be disconnected. Release the box as well. Flight tech to ground. Go ahead, flight tech. We will be ready shortly. 
Roger. Four stored items. Wait for the pressure to increase. There it goes. Recall. Checked. Trim set 5.5. Checklist. Slight big door closed and locked. MCP 193, track 251, altitude 23,000, or flight level 230. Takeoff speeds 175, 189, 193. CDU preflight completed. Trims 5.5 units, 0 and 0. Taxi and takeoff briefing completed. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger. Release the parking brakes, please. Brakes released. Pushing back. We're going to wait until we're past the line. And then we can start our engines. I wish that's something that GSX could uh, know. You can have an area where you're not allowed to start the engines, and as soon as the engines pass that area, or are not in that area, it will tell you you can now start your engines. That'd be something they could add easily. All right, let's start number two. Pressure. Running one. Push back complete. Oil Set pressure. parking brakes, please. Alright. Pull up. Pull down. Pull left. Pull right. Pull left. Pull right. Recall this check, we'll leave that up. And before taxi checklist, anti ice, auto, recall, checked, flight controls checked, ground equipment is clear. Taxi checklist complete. Fuel 142.5, uh, minimum takeoff fuel 142.4, we're good on that, so, lights, camera, and action, 55, Toga. Eighty knots. Prep 
perfect headwind. Checked. I rotate. Lots of gears coming up. All nav. You now have speed. What's up? After takeoff checklist, after takeoff checklist complete. All right, welcome back. It is morning for me, so I just woke up, and um, so if my voice is a little bit different from before, I apologize. But we're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, plan for the descent. So let's go ahead and get started. We are doing an RNAV departure, as far as I'm aware, because we are uh, we are doing runway zero five right. But we're going to go ahead and double check the weather. Winds 0304. Yep, only 05 is still in use. NH1022. Recall. Checked. We need to verify that for RNAP we have applicable weather. So, in at ref, last 30, that. The arrival is confirmed. Progress page, we expect to descend in 74 miles, 120, that's checked as well. A final approach fix altitude. The final approach fix is Lamel, as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to double check that with the charts. There is no final approach fix. But we're going to go the traditional route. 
We're gonna take runway 05 right. We go to fix. And put on 20 and 15. The problem is that's not gonna work, so we need to do something different. Go from Right now if we don't need anything. And it is an RNPAR approach, so we must uh, do different procedures. So we must do additional procedures. Um, no cold weather uh, no cold weather corrections. We have to verify that everything um, is as it should be from the charted approach. That looks very nice. This is the only PMG airplane, by the way, that simulates RMPAR approaches. So we'll take advantage of that. Restrictions are all good and checked. Um, if there was a at or above restriction for the final approach fix, which there isn't, not anyways, but if there was, we could put make it to an at, like so, which we have here, so that's fine. We check the glide path is within 0 0.01 degrees, and that's checked it's 3 degrees, just like our chart. We'll go to nav data. It said rad nav inhibit to on, which it is. It said 8000 in here, out of break 3. The approach briefing, and then once that is complete, we'll do the descent checklist recall. Let's check notes checked. Auto brake level 3, UREF for flaps 3145, minimums 350 feet set, and approach briefing is completed. Descent checklist completed. Set these two below. And then we are ready to go. Continue.
Alright, the AP is running. Three minutes have also passed for cooldown. Engine shutdown confirmed. The rest should wait till the yeah, all fault lights. Let's turn off the right system as well. The tracks are set, we can release the brakes. No shut down checklist, hydraulic panel. Well, we ignore those. They're all sensed items. Parking brake is off. Shut down checklist complete. Attractors can come off. Time can be paused here. So we took a block time of 10, uh, 12 hours and 37 minutes, which is nice. Welcome, welcome to Auckland. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next video. Until then, I wish you a wonderful rest of the day and peace.